We have performed a performance audit of financial risk management practices at Energex. This audit responds to a request from the Treasurer about concerns raised by a former Energex employee and from a Senate Committee report on the performance and management of electricity network companies. Our audit focused on three areas. One element of regulatory price setting, that is determining the weighted average cost of capital. The use of weighted average cost of capital calculation in Energex's budget and an assessment of the quality of Energex's Treasury risk management practices. Limited is a state-owned corporation that builds and maintains the network that distributes electricity to around 1.4 million customers in South East Queensland. Last year, Energex earned around 2.5 billion in revenue from its electricity distribution assets, which are worth around $11.5 billion. Because Energex has a monopoly, the maximum price it can charge customers is set by the Australian Energy Regulator, and this is reset every five years. We audited one element of this revenue setting process, the weighted average cost of capital, known as WAC. WAC is a key metric for price setting and ultimately affects the long-term profitability and sustainability of Energex. The higher the WAC, the higher the revenue able to be earned by Energex. Therefore, there may be incentive to maximise revenue and profits by overstating the return required. While Energex submits proposals to the regulator, including its own calculation of WAC, it is the regulator who decides the WAC rate Energex can use. This is based on its own methodology and assumptions and information gathered through public forums. We found no evidence of manipulation of data or improper behaviour by Energex in relation to the WAC it submitted to the regulator. Energex followed applicable laws and regulation and acceptable industry practices including obtaining input from other regulatory market participants and independent expert assessment. Energex also uses WAC in annual and five-year business plans, which it provides to its shareholding ministers. Each year, Energex forecasts revenue to be earned over the next five years in its budget. While the regulator sets the return for Energex, it only does so every five years, and therefore Energex may need to forecast revenue beyond that period for its budget. It does this by calculating an internal WAC trying to estimate what its future revenue may be beyond the current regulatory period. The WAC submitted to the regulator and the WAC used for this corporate planning do legitimately differ over time. Assumptions such as interest rates change, as do practices and methodologies for calculating WAC. In 2013, management changed its WAC methodology for the internal WAC after there were significant reductions in the forecast revenue in the budget. This affected the final three years of its five-year budget. We found that Energex management had predetermined the outcome of the internal WAC used for budgeting and changed its methodology to support this outcome. However, this change in methodology was not unreasonable and followed changing industry practices. AER has also subsequently changed its methodology along similar lines. The changed methodology had no impact on actual revenue as these are based on the approved regulated WAC. Energex has financial risk relating to cash, receivables, procurement and debt. Borrowings at $6.8 billion represent 88% of Energex's financial risk exposure. Amounts exposed to financial risk have varied over the last six years as operations have changed. However, apart from borrowings, most exposures have not grown significantly since 2008. At the time of this audit, Energex was not exposed to significant foreign exchange or commodity price risk, and therefore a complex Treasury approach to managing these risks was not required. We did not identify significant weaknesses with Energex's Treasury risk management process, as day-to-day -day activity is limited. However, 
we did find that Treasury is not proactively involved in identifying and reviewing financial risks associated with procurement. Treasury manages these risks on an ad hoc basis and we have made recommendations to management to address this matter. There were several operational control weaknesses identified by a former employee in December 2013. In May 2015, these were investigated and resolved in the engagement of an accounting firm. Our report has made the following conclusions. The allegations made relating to the manipulation of data provided to the AER for revenue calculations are not substantiated. Management did change its methodology for internal WAC used to forecast revenue in its budget to meet a predetermined outcome. And Energex's Treasury unit is operating effectively. Our report includes recommendations for the following areas. Queensland Treasury should improve its WAC calculation guidelines for use by government owned corporations. And Energex should update its Treasury policy to it should reflect changes in the business structure and current processes. Energex should also establish a Treasury committee to identify and review purchasing and credit risks. Thank you.